The expanding human population creates demand for more meat and dairy products. Responding to this demand, agribusiness promotes new pasture plants designed to increase productivity. The problem is that these same plants can become serious environmental weeds. In Australia, for example, gamba grass was introduced for pasture, but now it's a costly headache for managers. It increases wildfire intensity fivefold, reducing carbon stores and transforming native savanna into exotic grassland. The cost of fire management is blown out by an order of magnitude. The question is, do new varieties of pasture species pose a threat to the natural environment? There are three main lines of evidence that suggest we should be concerned. First, a track record as an environmental weed is one of the best predictors that a plant will become a problem. If you survey the species currently on the market, you'll find that many are well-known environmental weeds. Second, pastures are managed to ensure that large populations establish and so they are in the perfect position to invade land set aside for conservation. The third reason for concern is that new varieties are bred to grow faster, produce more seeds, to tolerate environmental extremes and resist disease. These characteristics help new varieties establish in pastures, but they also provide a boost into natural areas, including new areas that they couldn't reach before. New pasture varieties have a clear potential to make the existing weed problem worse. That means governments will have to spend more to control weeds in conservation areas, community groups will have a tougher job to restore their patch, cost of fighting fires will escalate, and our natural heritage will be further eroded. So, who is doing something about it? Not agribusiness. And why should they? They don't have to pay for any of the environmental damage their products cause. The public pays for that. What about governments? Most countries have quarantine regulations, but almost all pasture species can still be legally imported. New varieties produced by traditional breeding can be released regardless of their possible environmental impacts. Hey, what was that that just went past you? So, new pasture varieties are largely unregulated, but they pose substantial environmental risks. Who needs to do what to help solve this problem? Governments could take the lead in four main areas. Countries around the world need a list of species that are prohibited because of their potential impact on the natural environment. Second, a weed risk assessment is needed for all new varieties. Third, a program is needed to rapidly detect and control new varieties that invade natural areas. And fourth, if a species becomes an environmental weed, industry pays for its management, not the public. Agribusiness could help by developing plants with low weed risk and farmers could help by choosing pasture varieties with a low risk of invading natural areas. Recent history tells us that new pasture plants can destroy ecosystems and managers budgets. To avoid making the weed problem worse, we need to change the way pastures are regulated, developed and used.